Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on with Cancer for the next 48 hours, Spirit? What messages do we have for Cancer the next 48 hours? Cancer, we have strength. Ooh. That's a great card to start off with. You're showing yourself love. We have Six of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Seven of Cups. A lot of opportunities coming your way. A lot of options to choose from. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Cancer. The Nine of Cups. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, what's going on, Cancer? Messages for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. If Cancer falls anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. The King of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles here. You may be working on, yeah, Four of Pentacles. You may be working on your finances. Your wealth may be coming in. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay. At the bottom, Cancer, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, Cancer, I feel like some kind of news that you've been waiting for is coming out. It's coming close. Someone wants to give you some kind of message. And this message is going to bring a lot of truth and clarity to you. This can also be you looking for the truth. Um, this could be people who are talking about you. Cancer. You're in the mouth of... I feel like you're in the mouth of several people actually. I feel like this could also be someone watching what you do, watching how you carry yourself, how you go about things. Um, like I said, I really feel like this is some kind of a, this has to do with your career. Um, there could always be love too, but I feel like this is really dealing with your career life, Cancer. Something is going on. And it's leaving you working really hard. You're waiting for some kind of information from work. This is delayed success. This is waiting. But this is also working hard and having patience. I feel like you want to be recognized for the fruits of your labor. You want someone to stand up and take notice. You may feel like you're a little put off to the side, like people just aren't seeing you for your full ability. They're not recognizing you. But look at this, Cancer. There's some kind of passion pushing forward. Some kind of new creative idea that's bringing you into this new beginning. There's new beginnings in passion, in love, in some kind of inspired action and I feel like you're taking that you're taking inspired action okay let's take a look at the cards so we have the strength card with the strength card I really feel like you're being strong in your situation you're finding courage you're being fearless cancer I also feel like this is you showing yourself love, showing yourself the attention that you really need. You're taking better care of yourself. You may be taking care of your hair, your skin, finding a new look is what I'm hearing. 
you're changing your appearance. There's something that you're doing. You may be losing weight. You may be, not to say that you're overweight or anything like that, but I feel like you're really taking care of yourself. You're watching your health. There's some kind of attention that you're giving yourself that's really making the difference. And I feel like what you want the most right now is balance. You want equal give and take. And I feel like this could be someone coming close to you who is in that generous nature. Someone's going to give you good advice. Someone is going to give you a gift. Some kind of generous offering. Something you may not have been expecting. Cancer. And I feel like this is pushing you forward. You're expanding. You're growing. You're watching your ships come in. You know, you're anticipating the arrival of something coming in. You're waiting. But I feel like you're waiting patiently. You're thinking about plans for the future. You're waiting for those ships to come in. You know, there's some kind of plans that you're making. Some kind of ideas that you're focused on that's taking you into this growing into this expansion is definitely I, I i see something being built i see something building kind of stacking you know like stair steps i feel like you're slowly going up the ladder I see you building on something. Very interesting. Cancer, I feel like you have several opportunities in the next uh, 48 hours. I feel like several opportunities are coming to you. You're going to be able to weigh those options and choose your opportunity wisely. Be careful not to daydream with this card. With this card, you may be caught up in so many opportunities that you miss. The most opportune one. So, don't get caught up in all the opportunities. Do your research. Do your due diligence. And focus. Because sometimes more opportunities can sway us off our path. But, I feel the opportunities that lie ahead of you are bringing in. A lot more abundance. This can be financial security. This could be something huge coming in for you. Your abundance. Some kind of financial increase is coming forward for you. In the next 48 hours, you're going to have word on this information. Cancer. You're going to get some kind of communication that's going to increase your finances. Some kind of communication is coming through to start this new beginning put you on this new path and I feel like if this is career this may be a new job a raise promotion some kind of investment that you made but I feel like it's very valuable it's something that's very valuable to you it's something that will make you very happy because we have this nine of cups here underneath the six of pentacles so the, this is your wishes coming true your wishes being granted this is happy and contentment being satisfied with what you have you know this is being grateful for all of your gifts everything the universe has provided to you i feel like this is Satisfaction, deep satisfaction, because not only is this wishes coming true, material, wealth, and abundance, this is also good health. So if you have been ill in the past, Cancer, I feel like good health is now returning, and I feel like you are more stable, more grounded, more solid. You're standing on solid foundation. 
I feel like th this puts you, this King of Pentacles, it puts you in a better place. You have your solid ground. But I feel like you're still being very practical. You're still thinking wisely. The King of Pentacles, he's a very wise investor. He knows where to put his money to make more money. He knows where to invest his time. And he knows where his time is well spent. You know, and I feel like that's you right now, Cancer. I feel like you're really taking notice on where those dollars are going and how those dollars are being spent, how you can make more dollars. I feel like you're really focused on holding that abundance close to you, protecting that abundance. You know, this is long-term security that you're looking at. You're looking at the long term. I feel like you're planning for the future. Um, you're watching your spending. And I feel like this is you desiring to do the best you can with what you've got. You know, I feel like this is you making do with whatever financial gains you have at the moment. You're not thinking like you are got these riches that you just want to spend and just you know throw away money i feel like you're really putting a lot of thought a lot of effort into where you're putting your money at the moment you're really taking time to research and find good investments if that's what you're doing and I feel like you're doing that because there's something that you're walking away from. You, you, with this, look at this, we have the Eight of Cups on one end and the Nine of Cups on the other. So I feel like, you know, not only are you walking into your contentment, but you know the things that need to be released so that you can maintain those wishes so that you can maintain those nine cups. I feel like there's things that you need to walk away from that are maybe more negative than what you may like around you. And I feel like you're taking notice of that. I feel like you took notice that when negative things around you, negative things happen. When positive things are around you, positive things happen. I feel like you're really taking notice of that. You're really seeing that very, very clearly, very clearly now, if I can speak. <laughs> I'm going to work at it though. Okay. Cancer. What other messages do we have for Cancer for the next 48 hours, Spirit? What other messages do we have for Cancer? The Hermit. This is a great time for you cancer to soul search to find your wisdom the hermit he's found wisdom along his path and he's being guided he's being guided by the star the star represents his past hurts his past failures whatever those past hurts or past failures are he's learned from those so that healing is leading him down his path he's gained wisdom He's gained knowledge from those failures. He's gained knowledge from that past, those past events that, that weren't fruitful like he thought they were. So I feel like you're at this moment, Cancer, where you're finding wisdom. You're learning the lessons from the things of the past and you're moving forward in a great way. I feel like... There's things that you're leaving behind, but you're leaving them behind for a reason. You're not just moving ahead carelessly and not thinking about what's going on. I feel like you're making plans for the future. Definitely, you're weighing your options. You're trying to find balance. You're setting your priorities. You're juggling a lot of responsibility, Cancer. But I feel like you're doing it with ease. You're setting your priorities correctly. And that's putting you in a very powerful position. 
you have the emperor. The emperor is showing his pure power. And I feel like you're taking that on. You're taking on the energy of the emperor. He's very authoritative. He has great wisdom, great knowledge. He can manifest whatever he wants because he has the intuitive nature to do so. You know, he's very powerful. He's a true leader. And I feel like that's the energy that you're absorbing. I feel like you're absorbing that energy, Cancer. You're taking on the emperor energy and you're moving forward in a great new way. Look at this. The emperor is right on top of this ace of pentacles. I feel like you're gaining your wealth. Your wealth is coming to you. Definitely. And you're, you're finding a lot of passion in this. You're moving forward at an optimal speed. You're gaining momentum. You know, whatever thoughts, whatever passions are coming to you. I feel like those thoughts, those passions, they're growing. They're moving. Um, the Knight of Wands, he's also a very free spirit. He's also very fast moving you know he's one of the fast moving knights the other is the knight of swords but the side of knight of swords can be a little too hasty the knight of wands he runs with passion but he also runs with the knowledge of his creative mind he's still thinking as he's moving forward so I feel like that's what you're doing. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Something that you're working on, you are trying to master. You're working very hard on something that is going to bring you a lot of profit. It's going to bring you a lot of wealth. Um, but I feel like you're working very hard on this. You're trying to master your craft. You know, and I feel like this is, this is work that you're enjoying doing. And I feel like this enjoyment... This mastering of whatever you're doing is pushing you. It's moving you. You're moving to new destinations. You're transitioning into this more calmness, more relaxed state. I feel, as, as I'm talking with you, as I'm feeling your energy, I feel like this movement, this transition is very controlled. It's very capable, you know, almost like, almost like it's put into motion without any momentum, you know. I, I feel like it's kind of moving on its own because I feel like you willed it to do that. Very interesting. We also have the, uh, the King of Cups. So with the King of Cups energy, this could be love coming through for you. This could be a love interest who's showing support, being very empathetic to your needs. He's very supportive. He's very loving, very caring. The King of Cups also knows when and when not to show his emotions. He knows how to control his emotions very well. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. Wow, lots of cups in this reading too. So there may be someone from your past coming in to show you an offer of love. This may be a family friend. This may be family. This may be a sibling. This could be an ex for a few of you coming in to kind of rekindle a relationship with this King of Cups energy. But I'm not quite sure you're going to be ready for it. Now, this could be that you are not accepting this person's invitation. You could be putting an end to this person before they even start. This can also be you transforming your situation into something that you see it happening. Um, something that you see. I'm not explaining this right. This could be you transitioning this this situation into something that's more capable for you to handle. 
Let me put it that way. Um, you're transforming the situation in, to fit your needs. Very interesting, Cancer. Look at this. We have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you are transforming this situation. You may accept this person's offer of love. This may be someone new, but I feel like this is someone maybe from a past. Someone could be from a childhood. Could be someone that you know that you haven't been in a relationship with, but you know them. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they're going to send you some kind of communication. I feel like you and this person will be talking a lot. You'll be communicating a lot. This could also be you taking action on this situation. Taking action to move forward with this person. The Eight of Wands is movement. Not only movement, but communication. But this is movement. Movement. It's like love in action, emotions in, in, in action, you know? Very interesting. Let's get some Moonology cards for Cancer. What does Moonology have to say for Cancer for the next 48 hours, please? What messages do you have for Cancer? We have meditate and contemplate. So yeah, something needs your attention. Something needs you to meditate on the situation so that you can receive the answers that you need to move forward. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, that's this love coming in. There's definitely some sort of love situation starting within the next 48 hours. Someone's going to step forward and give you an offer. A new start is coming. New beginnings. New love. Wow. Okay. Show the world the real you. Yes, Cancer. Show the world your authentic self. Don't hide behind any mask. Showing your real self, showing your true self is going to take you higher. It's going to take you to um, lands unknown, you know. Your commitment is being tested. So you may be going through challenges. There may be a challenge that you have to face during this 48-hour period. But I feel like it's, it's not something that you can't handle. Let's get more information. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So there may be someone that you want to blame or someone who wants to blame you. Some kind of situation, some kind of conflict. That may be what this means. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Definitely new relationships coming into here. Uh, this could be... You know, we already see love coming in within the next 48 hours. This could also be friendships or family. We also have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Definitely. Everyone walks in their own pair of shoes, you know. Never judge a cover. Never cover. <laughs> see, that's what I mean. Never judge a book by its cover. Okay, Cancer. If I can speak, we'll get through this reading. Okay, what else do we have for Cancer for the next 48 hours? What do we have for Cancer, please? Forgiveness and understanding. There's someone who wants you to forgive them. They want you to take a second look. They want you to reconsider. Maybe that's this person who is... Placing blame or that you're blaming something on. But I feel like this person wants forgiveness. This person wants you to 
reconsider some kind of situation. Maybe you broke it off with them or maybe they haven't seen you in a while. This could be that ex coming back into the picture. But someone wants your attention. They want you to forgive them. Divine timing. Having patience in your situation. The universe works on its own time. It works in its own space, in its own dimension. So sometimes having patience and waiting on divine timing is very key to our commitment, to our success. I feel like you're going to receive signs and reminders. There may be nostalgia, you know, you may see signs and reminders about certain things. Um, you may see synchronicities, you know, like numbers, 1111, 222 for unions, relationships, partnerships. Um, you may see 5-5 five, five for change. Uh, you may see three threes for growth. Um, but yeah, l pay attention to signs and synchronicities. I feel like they're going to give you a lot of clarity on your situation, Cancer. And Spirit is letting you know to do the work. Be assertive. Be assertive. And I feel like you're already working hard on the situation. But Spirit really wants you to know that you need to see this through. You need to follow through. Don't stop. Don't quit. Okay, what else do we have for Cancer for the next 48 hours, please? What do we have for Cancer in the next 48 hours? Insecurity. So within the next 48 hours, there may be someone around you who is very insecure. This may be your energy, but this may be someone else's. Um, I feel like they're very insecure for maybe reasons of the past. Maybe some kind of heartbreak that they've been through. Some kind of failure that happened to them. But I feel like there's wisdom. There's wisdom behind this insecurity. And I feel like you you have that wisdom, Cancer. We also have grief. So, with this Eight of Cups energy, I feel like you understand that something is left behind or something has left. But I feel like you may be grieving the situation. There may be some kind of situation that you're kind of grieving. Or someone around you is grieving and you're comforting them. Give me some more information for this. You're creating. I don't know what this grief is. You're creating. You're manifesting. Whatever this is, you're working hard. Wow. Okay. Let's get another deck so we can get some clarity on the situation. Let's get some clarity for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer in the next 48 hours, Spirit? Give me some messages for Cancer, please, the next 48 hours. The Queen of Cups. Definitely love coming in. I feel like you're dipping your toes in the emotions. You're kind of testing the waters. Uh, this is also someone who's coming in to support you, to care for you, to nurture you. This is love coming in. Um, well, you're a water sign, Cancer. This could also be your nature as well. Oh my goodness. We have the judgment, hope, renewal, faith, miracles coming through. Beautiful. Your wake up call. Finding your purpose. Moving forward in a place where you're leaving a place you've always been and moving to a new destination. Beautiful. And we have the strength card again. So I feel like you're being courageous. You're being courageous. You're being very strong in this situation. You're loving yourself. You're loving unconditionally. 
you're loving unconditionally look at this six of swords again spirit is letting you know you're definitely moving you're definitely moving to a better position a bigger opportunity better place um, this is moving to more calmness more stability she's moving from a place where she's always been to a place she has never been before she's leaving her comfort zone and she's finding calmness in that we have the justice card something is going in your benefit something is going to rule, be ruled in your favor something is gaining balance cancer this is also libra energy hmm I feel like the the scales are being tipped in your favor. Something's going to go your way. If this is contracts, if this is some kind of court proceedings, I feel like it's all going to be favorable for you. We also have the will of fortune. So definitely the will is turning in your favor. Your luck is changing. You're hitting a turning point. This is all about change and reward. You're finding rest in your situation. You're recovering. This is recovery. So I feel like whatever you've lost, whatever you had to walk away from cancer, I feel like you're making a full recovery. You're making a full recovery. This could be this could be in love. This could be financial. Hmm. You're making a full recovery in whatever this is. You have to comment in the comment section and tell me what exactly this means to you. How does this resonate with you? What kind of recovery are you having? Okay, we're going to take one more card for Cancer. <laughs> the Fool. Definitely. You're starting a new journey. This is a fantastic new beginning for you. You're taking that leap of faith and you're taking risks. And I feel like the risks that you're taking are going to take you into your prosperity. It's taking you into this dynamic change that's pushing in your favor. It's going to bring you dynamic wealth. We have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So definitely, you're seeing the resources in front of you. And you're taking hold of those resources. And you're using those wisely. You're really nurturing some kind of situation that's going to bring you a lot of wealth. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. This is a dramatic increase. Very interesting, Cancer. Well, Cancer, that is what I have for you for the next 48 hours. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Cancer, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.